There we go. Morning, folks. Maybe here we go. Nice bird flyby in front of the moon on this 14th day of November 2017 7.40 a.m. from the 45th north latitude 119th west longitude we have the moon Some folks would have you believe this is a hologram. I encourage you to do your own investigation with this heavenly artifact and all heavenly artifacts. Trying to make the camera do a whole bunch of auto focuses to get inside of the dark area there of the moon. Because at this point, that is where my interest is lying. So, with all the footage that I shoot of the moon, have any of you realized, as I have realized, that every time that is the absolute brightest part right there of the moon, when it comes into this shape, right there by that crater right there, Going through an autofocus mode. Some people would have you believe that clouds are going behind the moon and shit. But when you sit here and you observe what you're recording in reality, ha, it's a lot different. Don't let these morons sway your minds. Go get your camera and do your own observations. Because, yeah, you could be led to believe easily enough that the clouds are passing behind the moon. But when you actually are observing it and looking back and forth from the camera and the, the camera view finder and the live demonstration, you see what's going on. And if these fuckers who are trying to lead you astray are leading you astray on purpose and it's bad on them if not they really need to investigate what they're doing because leading the mind to think foul can also lead a mind to be foul 
Some people say that's a hologram, folks. I say it's the real deal. But somebody 70 years ago hijacked the fucking moon. I did see a cartoon there one way about way back with the car. Uh, now that it's mentioned, I did see a cartoon where the moon was hijacked. So who knows? Maybe it is. They do disclose truth in front of your face. They have to. Sorry folks, I'm really panned in tight. And it's daylight, I, it, I was really wanting to get the moon before it got light but our skies have been so foul I only got like about a minute's worth of footage in the last three or four days since I haven't uploaded it all because we've been in foul skies and the 30 is probably about a minute long video I got yesterday morning right as soon as I started my camera the drops started to fall from the sky and I'm not quite prepared to lose my camera to moisture. There ain't one of you that bought it for me. Maybe should someone send me a new one so I can continue to film if this one gets screwed up. Maybe I'll take the chances a little bit more. But I ain't rich in the monetary system. I struggle to survive like the rest of you. I have to work. I mean, I don't have to. But I figured the luxuries in this reality we have to live in. I don't need a lot. I don't compete with the Joneses and the Smiths. I don't care what they have. I don't care what they think. They better stay on their side of the fence. And until they need my help from Marauders. We're good. Or until I need their help. We're good. That's the anarchy system, folks. Though I could just be talking out my ass, too. I want to know where that tail rolls off to. I, w I really wanted the... Midnight jaggedness of that crescent. And I really don't think... I'm going to get a moon tomorrow. At all. I might, but I doubt it. If I do, I may film it all day. I do have extra batteries and memory. Being just a sliver crescent like this and letting the sun overrun it, it'd be a good one. Because this, this moon, I don't know, I haven't been able to track it because it's been cloudy. But I don't believe it was present in the sky until 6 o'clock this morning.
maybe five. I don't know. I have, like I said, it's been cloudy, and I have had absolutely zero interest in going and hanging out in the clouds looking for something that you ain't gonna see. I'm nobody's fool. I think we're actually looking into the hollow side of the moon right here, folks. Right there, I think that's hollow. My own observations tell me that's so. And that's why it fades off into uh, atmospheric color and appearance because the inside just is filled with atmosphere and it's non non lumative like the other side and it's just rolling around a big fucking hollow hard hat up there kind of shaped object flopping around do it through its magnetic field doing its flop I don't know that's just my observation what I what I'm looking at and how I'm seeing it I've tracked the moon quite a bit I'm not up there with it I'll tell you who has tracked the moon and the sun around and around and around this earth and knows exactly the path of it constantly and that's a fucking NASA and they're not telling us and they're not showing us but I guarantee they have equipment tracking the fucking moon and the sun constantly they want to know exactly so that's where some of your fucking tax dollars are really going for NASA some of it's going for the hoax but the knowledge that they're gathering and accumulating they're not divulging it to the people of this realm but you know damn good and well they're tracking this sun and this moon constantly they're not letting it out of their sight and you funded them to be able to do it and this is the elite that are firebombing California and killing Americans there's a war out against the people people forest fires don't burn houses and cars and leave the forests alone burn trees from the inside out I try not to talk about any of this shit anymore because it's all you have to do is observe it for yourself scrutinize it for yourself come to grips with reality accept the fact that it's never gonna change for the better because there's nobody gonna the people aren't gonna change it for the better until these elite maggots run in this place make it a hell of a lot worse and they're doing it real fast if you haven't noticed the price of food in the last six months let alone a year gasoline water god damn they got water they're turning people into drunks and soda fucking freaks if you're gonna fucking pay a dollar thirty nine for fucking water pay the extra twenty cents for the fucking sugar in your soda or ten cents less for the beer fuck Yeah, folks, I encourage you to do your own observations. Get your own cameras out. So when the clouds are blowing by the moon and the sun, you can fucking zoom in and do your own shit. You can put your own filters on. I, I do nothing with the filters. I try to keep this as natural. I don't do nothing with the camera at all except turn it on and zoom and pan, do my panning. As far as color and enhancements in any video room no you're getting this straight direct narration from me this is Brian Miner and this is who I am I'm in REM my name has significance it's a legal term from Black's Law Dictionary look it up it's from way back when the term is defined as the action against the thing the thing I'm against is this corruption in government I'm against mind control 
govern, control, mint, mind. You shouldn't have to ask anybody for anything once you're of respectable age to where you understand respect and you can give it and receive it. I understand there's a faction of people who never reach that point and they will be dealt with accordingly. <coughs> this ain't just my ramblings, folks. This is what's going to be. Don't think you're always going to be able to run right down to fucking Safeway and Albertsons and buy your food. They're shutting it all down. It's getting t to the point. It really is. If you can't see that a 15 ounce can of Nally Chili with 79.80 cents just a year ago, and it's a dollar seventy nine, a dollar eighty today. Just think in another year when the government can no longer sustain the load it's carrying with the, I say, freeload government, whether it's a government paycheck or a government distribution of funds and welfare. It's the same program. Government is government. And it's the working class who can no longer support government. And so government will no longer be able to support itself. And that's what's happening. And that's what's going to happen. And y'all don't understand that you're going to let them shut everything down because you think they own it. In reality, it's yours. It's ours. Everything within this realm is ours. And y'all have willfully and ignorantly given them everything. You deserve to be bit by the snake that you took into your house. That's all I can say. And you've all been warned. Y'all may have heard me talk about the old man on the park bench before. But he warned me of the elimination of the dollar in sir its service and with my pocket full of money I thought he was a full of shit old crazy coot but now I never have a dollar in my pocket and I'm that old coot now who's grown up in this society ears and eyes wide open mouth shut observing every fucking thing that goes on around me and paying particular attention to detail. I woke up from my drunken stupor, my 30 year drunken stupor about seven, eight years ago. Yeah, I delve in with Farmer John. But in reality, Farmer John brings out the subconscious thoughts. In fact, puff, puff, pass. If you want. I do not push. It's up to you. Do each his own. Just keep your evils and wickedness to yourself. Don't trespass on me. We'll get along fine.
And that's going to be 27 minutes of shit, folks. Don't believe anything I say. Do your own observation. That's what I'm telling you. Just go buy you a cheap fucking camera off eBay. You don't have to get a cool Pix fucking P900. Fucking my S8900 was phenomenal for footage. It was a Nikon. Yeah, it was pretty spendy when I first bought it, but you can pick them up still for 40 bucks. 50 bucks and then you can hashtag NASA here's my sky footage where's yours or something to that effect Or do sky footage for NASA. Let's pan out for the cloud. Uh oh. Clouds are totally fouling the picture right there. There's kind of a whole bunch. In fact, uh, without the camera, you don't even see the moon. Inside of that mess up there, you really can't. And there's a whole bunch drifting this way. So that's probably going to be it. But I'm going to let it play and see how... the picture plays with these clouds rolling in front of the moon as they are and what we're observing with the moon and the clouds There's more rolling through them clouds are rolling northeast think that's just not a fine picture of the moon but yes it is it's just how uh, close the colors are merging in and we got more clouds coming in here a little bit too and so I'm gonna pan out here so you can uh, have a little bit of a an appreciation for the moon out there and how slivery it really is because it's about to disappear into that cloud if I don't zoom right back into it if I even can Yeah, there it is, but it's going to be gone here in just a minute. If I wouldn't have panned in, I may have lost it. Yeah, see, this is what I'm looking for right here. I want to see what that looks like. When you're looking up there, you can't really see the moon anymore, but when you're looking in here, it looks like them clouds. See that bird fly by? It kind of looks like the clouds are going behind, but it's them, them clouds are actually changing sizes. <laughs> It's really weird. You have to observe it. I'm telling you, you have to get your own camera. Don't listen to these bozos telling you the shit. Get your own observing equipment. There's only three things to remember no curvature measurable 
can be detected. No motion, measurable, can be detected. And no gravity, measurable, to be detected. Please, the critical thinking mind to the reality of where it is. Yeah, because clouds at night even look different than these at day. They really does. And dark cloudy skies look different than these clear fluffy light clouds. You just have to get a camera and do your own observations and observe the moon and the view on the camera at the same time. And you understand where I'm coming from. Because yes, cameras do lie. You can put a filter on it and make it lie. You can change its angle and make it lie. It was designed, manufactured and made by a liar. <laughs> Figure it out, folks. They're all a bunch of liars. Look what they did with the moon landings. They lied to you with that. That should be obvious enough that a camera can use for can be used for total deception. And the narrator on the other end is the deceiver. It's whether or not you are gonna allow yourself to be deceived. Have a good day, folks. Thanks for watching.